we'll start by making a stencil paste. So grab yourself a large bowl, put in 25 grams or an eighth of a cup of butter with 25 grams or a quarter cup of icing sugar, and then beat that together well until smooth. You'll notice a lot of this lesson is sped up and that is because there is a lot to it and I didn't want to make the video 50 minutes long. Okay, next up, you're gonna throw in one whole large egg white and then beat this again. It doesn't really matter if this is smooth at this point, just get it mixed in a little. You'll see that my mixture here is completely lumpy still, but it won't affect the end product. So the next step you're gonna do is sieve in 20 grams or a sixth of a cup of soft flour and five grams or one teaspoon of cocoa powder. And again, just beat this together well until you have a smooth paste. Make sure there's no lumps at this point. Now with this, I'm gonna show you a couple of different designs you can do. So the first one is with a tooth scraper. You're gonna spread some mixture onto a piece of baking paper, spread it out, and then just make a zigzag pattern across all the way. Place this onto a baking sheet and into your freezer for at least an hour until frozen. And for this next design, we're gonna use an actual stencil, and this one's nice and easy. Just place your stencil over a bit of baking paper, and then spread some of your mixture over the stencil, making sure you keep it on the baking paper, and then scrape off all of the excess, and then carefully remove the stencil from the baking paper. Again, onto a tray, and freeze. So next up we're going to be making an aerated almond sponge that is going to be spread across that stencil paste we just made once it's frozen. So let's just clear these ingredients out the way. So there's a few different steps to making this. So the first thing we're going to do is make a sabillon and that is with the almonds. So that's 100 grams or one cup of ground almonds, 100 grams or four fifths of a cup of icing sugar and sieve them together well. If you have any leftover large pieces of almonds, don't worry about it, just discard them. And to that we're going to throw in three whole large eggs. And now using an electric whisk set to low to start with, so the icing sugar doesn't fly out everywhere, just get those ingredients incorporated and then you can turn it up to high and just whisk this until it becomes what we call the ribbon stage and that's where you can leave a trail like this before it sinks back in. And put that to one side, grab yourself another clean bowl and we're going to put in 60 grams of egg whites, that is about two egg whites. And then we're gonna whisk this with 12 grams or one tablespoon of sugar to a stiff meringue. Whenever you're making meringue, make sure all of your equipment is perfectly clean, otherwise it can stop the egg whites from forming. All right, so bring your Sabion mixture back and we're gonna sieve in 25 grams or a quarter of a cup of soft flour. And then gently fold that in. And now we're gonna to add to that 20 grams or one tablespoon of melted butter and we'll fold that in too, making sure that we have folded it all in. Okay, that looks good. So next up, we're gonna start folding in our meringue into our sabillon. And just be careful again here, don't overfold. You'll find that all your mixture loses aeration and then it's gonna be a dense sponge rather than a well light aerated sponge. Okay, and that's the sponge element of the Jacon done. So you can grab your stencil paste out of the freezer now that it's frozen and you'll need a stepped palette knife for this. And then you're just gonna gently spread over a small amount of your sponge mixture. And you want this to be very thin for this. In certain things like an opera cake, you might leave this a bit thicker, but for this, we just want it about three millimeters thick. And I'll place this into a preheated oven at 240 degrees centigrade or about 465 degrees Fahrenheit for about four minutes, just until it starts to brown. And I mean just until it starts to brown. You don't want brown edges on this, otherwise it will be solid and it will snap. Anyway, leave this to cool for about five minutes and then you're gonna flip it over and carefully peel off your baking paper. You could also use a silicone mat for this if you have one. And that's our Dracon with a stencil done. So all I'm gonna do now is trim off the rough edges so that I've got a nice sheet to work with. Make sure when you're not using this, you store it on a sheet of baking paper. Otherwise this will stick to anything you leave it on. 